We have gotten so many comments from our viewers yesterday and also today, both about our show and also about the election and the uncertainty that you're all feeling. So we're going to read a few and then respond to you directly. These first two kind of go together, so I'm going to read them back to back. Rob says on Twitter, Trump knows that if the count carries on, he'll lose the presidency by even more. Mike on Twitter, so many irregularities in the voting process. We need to redo the entire election. No mail-in ballots. Let's go to the Supreme Court. Tory, have at it. I, 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 th I just can't. All of this is sort of made up. All of this is a story. And Sam, you said it great and you brought in the number point zero 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 two five. The great people of our country do wonderfully. Our state elected officials, our attorney generals in our states, our poll workers, our volunteers. None of this is true. This is a made up story that came out in this election and this election only. No one else is worried about mail-in ballots for years. And may I remind you, our own president mails in his vote. Thank you, Tori. Uh, Frank on Facebook says, I agree with Jeff's point yesterday. Just because someone votes for Trump because they think it will be better for their wallet does not mean that they also do not value black and brown Americans. You can support Trump and not be a racist. Yeah, Sam, I believe I said this on a, on a different show, but the point was I was saying all people who vote for Trump are not racist, right? I've had this conversation with friends. We've had it in here. And I don't necessarily believe with everything in both sides of the party. I'm, I am a moderate at heart. That's how I live on and off camera. But I want to support people. I, I have to be careful with my words here. I want to give the people at home who believe in one side or the other a, a voice, right? I, I want to protect them. So I don't. I still think all people who vote for Trump are not racists. But I did have a conversation off camera with a friend of mine. I don't want to point him out, but I just pointed him out literally <laughs> that he, we were talking and he you know it was kind of a light bulb moment for me and he's like I agree with you there but I think that all racists are Trump supporters so it kind of like gave me a light bulb moment and I want to choose my words very carefully here because I, I am an ally to everyone even if you look at me you want to paint me with this broad brush that I'm a handsome intelligent man <laughs> I'm trying to keep it light here. I'm trying to keep it very light. But, you know, in a serious note, I don't want to be painted with that brush when I'm trying to represent a side that's not represented on our show. Well, I, I think that, first of all, Jeff, I, I know who you are. We have been working together for years, and I, I know that that's not who you are. I think that you are in a very tricky position, and I do not envy it. I um, absolutely have worked with people who maliciously believed that my oppression was a part of their greatness, and that is not who you are. Um, we were brought here on this show in order to represent America having discourse civilly. And that was the genesis of this show over three years ago. And so the idea that we have diversity of people, diversity of thought, diversity of opinion is very important because regardless of how big the scale is, there needs to be some type of representation in order to facilitate these conversations. And that's what we're yes. doing here. So I think that that is very important. I know that a lot of people have just met us and just right. found the show and they don't have any idea of who we are and what we do, but I think that it's, it should be very clear about who we are and what we and do. And I think it's really, you know, we had this last comment even says, I love, this is from Shelly, I love how all the DBL hosts have their own different opinions, but everybody gets along and lets everyone have their opinion. That's what this world needs. That comment is so vital, not only to this panel, because if you can have conversation, you can grow and you can evolve and you can be empathetic, but I've been reading your comments for the last couple days, and I know I just have a few seconds, but I really want to uh, acknowledge this. Many of our viewers have written in that their interpersonal relationships have been shattered because of this election. Whether it be your parents, whether it be your colleagues, whether it be your friends, and you guys are struggling. And I just wanna let those viewers know that I've read those comments, we've read those comments, you are not alone. Of course, I can't fix it, none of us can. I can't offer any advice except for the fact that you're not alone. And I hope that gives you some sort of comfort. And I hope that we can all have faith, blind faith, even if that's a thing, that we will at some point as Americans, I pray, correct this and somehow unify again, because the stories that I'm reading are absolutely heartbreaking and do know that we see you and we hear you.